Good day and welcome to video number 6 on the 2024 June Numeracy exam paper called Apply Math and Stats in a Range of Everyday Situation and the paper number is 32406. As usual, this is a unit standard. You either get an achieve or not an achieve. To get an achieve, which is 10 credits, you need to fulfill the outcome 1, 2 and 3. So without further ado, let's do question uh, 3 D. E and F for this video. So 3D sounds like this. Okay, we shall adjust the paper. 3D is quite straightforward. Okay, so in some cities, people pay the amount of water they use. Here is Cindy's water bill for one month. The amount used is 24.8. The rate is a question mark you need to find out and the charge is 35.96. In other words, 24.8 times the rates and they'll give you 35.96. So to calculate the question mark, we just need to do 35.96, you divide by 24.8, because this times that will give you that. So you take 35.96 dollars, divide by 24.8 meters cube, and I done in my calculation before, uh, the answer is 1.45 dollars per meter cube. That will give you an outcome number one in this question. So without further ado, let's do question 3, 3 E. Okay, yep. So this is a bit more complicated and we need a bit of calculation in this question. Okay, so Tala's Fanau want to use less water. There are six people in Tala's Fanau. Tala has two ideas for saving water. First, to cut the daily shower time to two minutes per person. And secondly, running the washing machine only once every two days rather than every day. So which of the Tala's two ideas would save the most water? Explain your answers using information from the table. So we're going to calculate over two, two days, okay? So over a period of two days, washing machine, if you do one less washing over two periods of days, you are going to save 60 liters. So now we're going to calculate cutting the shower time to two minutes per person. Having a shower for four minutes is 48 liters. So two minutes, the amount of uh, liters will be, half of it will be 24. That's how we're going to calculate. Saving for two minutes instead of four minutes. Saving will be two days because there will be two days they're going to shower because there are six people, there are six people in Talas for now. So two days times six people times 24 liters per day, you're going to save 24 liters per day and that comes up to 288 liters. So which of the two methods is more, uh, will give you a better way to save money? So the answer is going to be cutting the daily shower time to two minutes per person. You're going to save a lot more, 288 compared to 60 liters when you cut down the washing machine by only doing once every two days. So that is outcome number three because there's a lot of calculation involved and that's how you explain that. Of course, the last question, you need to interpret graph and we shall read to. This is question 3F of this paper. So we shall read that. The graph shows the daily average rainfall and temperature for each month of the year. So the green bar is the rainfall and the red and blue line is the average temperature. The red line is the high temperature and the blue line is the low temperature. So which season has the highest average rainfall? Use information on the graph. So we are not interested in the red line and the blue line. We are only interested in the blue, uh, green bar. So you can see most of them are in this region here. Okay, the highest rainfall in this region. So we're going to see. Summer is from December, January, February is not so. So we're going to say no. Autumn, March, April, May. So March, April, May could be. March, April, May could be. Okay, so we give a question mark. Winter, June, July, August. So June, July, August. It seems to be this number here is higher than this number. So we're going to put this at the moment. And spring is September, October, November. September, October, November is a bit low. So it is no. So this is also no because winter, June, July, August is a lot higher than autumn. So we're going to answer that. The highest rainfall is going to happen in winter, in June, July, August. And that will be going to be outcome number one. So hopefully you get so far. We have done question one, two and three. Watch the next four videos on question four and five and i'll see you soon cheers everyone and good luck for your nca